Climb aboard Scholastic's The Magic School Bus for even more wild rides. Now you can collect all the fun in Scholastic's The Magic School Bus video collection. Cool. With the Frizz, Arnold, Wanda, and the rest of the gang. Join them for all of their exciting, action-packed adventures. Find out what happens when Arnold swallows the bus in the Magic School Bus for lunch. Check out what's making Ralphie sick in the Magic School Bus inside Ralphie. Wow! When the kids get trapped in a haunted house, they never know what the next sound is going to be in the Magic School Bus in the Haunted House. Watch this! Experience the wonderful world of animal habitats in the Magic School Bus Hops Home. Make waves as the gang journeys to the ocean floor in the Magic School Bus Gets Eaten. This is so cool! Blast off on a field trip that's out of this world when the Magic School Bus Gets Lost in Space. <laughs> Come along, class! Collect all of Scholastic's The Magic School Bus videos so they can become lasting additions to your video library. I'd say it's a perfect time for a field trip! going to visit with cats! What? Cats! What? Cats! That's right! Big cats, little cats, kittens that go meow, and lions who roar! I'm glad we're having a cat adventure because cats are my favorite animal. Meet Dudette. Dudette adopted us about a year ago. She came for a visit and never left. We have four cats, but Dudette is kind of special because she takes naps with me. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. And today, Dr. Kaufman is going to give Dudette a checkup. Hi, Dr. Kaufman. Hi, Casey. Hi, Dudette. How are you today? Say hello. Dr. Kaufman is a veterinarian. That means he's an animal doctor. And I, where do you want to start, Dr. Kaufman? Well, I thought we'd start by taking a look at Dudette's ears. Okay. Oh, look at that. It collapses her little... Why are you looking in her ears? Well, you know, just like for kids, we have to make sure that the ears are clean and that there's no infection in the ear. Oh, how... The ears are fine. Okay. What next? Well, we can take a look in her mouth. Okay. We can look at her teeth and make sure that she doesn't have any dirty teeth. Okay. Does she have any cavities? I think she's been brushing. She looks pretty good. Oh, she looks beautiful. You know, we can help our kitty's teeth stay clean by feeding them crunchy food, and some people will even brush their cat's teeth, and that's great to do to keep them clean. Now, she has, actually, she has whiskers all over her face. You know, How do they look? Well, they look fine, and you know, they use those whiskers uh, just like fingers or feelers and they actually feel their way along things and make sure they don't bump into things and get stuck in things that are too small for them. Now, sometimes I notice that Dudette waves her tail back and forth, and I think she does it when she's mad. 
Well, that could be. You know, you can tell a lot about how an animal's acting just by watching the way they're, or how they're feeling just by watching the way they're acting and their body moves. Uh, when their tail is straight up in the air, it usually means they want to get a little closer to you and they want to be your friend. When it's kind of uh, swishing from side to side, it's often that they're excited. But if it ever goes down and twitches back and forth, you got to watch out because that means they might be a little bit angry. Now, Dr. Kaufman, where does the saying, a cat has nine lives, come from? When we say a cat has nine lives, what we usually mean is that a cat's usually able to get themselves out of situations safely that a lot of other animals couldn't. Well, you know, I think Dudette has more than nine lives because she's been chased by a dog, she's been stung by a bee, and she's even fallen into a pool. Poor Dudette. tree and landed on her feet she was stung by a bee and didn't make a peep she's been chased by every dog and fallen off a log but she always bounces back without a scratch nine lives she's got nine lives nine lives this cat's got nine lives she's much too tough she can play real rough i'm not surprised she's got nine lives She's been locked outside at night and shivered in the cold, but this cat, she's still all right. She'll keep on growing old. She's fallen in the pool, but she swims. This cat's no fool. She always bounces back without a scratch. Nine lives. She's got nine lives. Nine lives. This cat's got nine lives. She's much too tough. She can play real rough. I'm not surprised. She's got nine lives. I've seen her in the street, sometimes she goes downtown. She's quick on her feet, she really gets around. But when it's time to dine, she gets home right on time. She always bounces back without a scratch. Nine lives, she's got nine lives. Nine lives, this cat's got nine lives. She's much too tough, she can play real rough. I'm not surprised, she's got nine lives. She'll eat until she's fat. She'll sleep on top of cars, just like an alley cat. She'll howl beneath the stars. She'll fuss and claw and hiss and whine. If you take her big ball of twine, she always bounces back without a scratch. Next, nine lives. She's got nine lives. Nine lives. This cat's got nine lives. She's much too tough. She can play real rough. I'm not surprised. She's got nine lives. waiting to happen. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Nine lives, she's got nine lives. Nine lives, this cat's got nine lives. She's much too tough, she can play real rough. I'm not surprised, she's got nine lives. She always gets around, but she's much too tough, she can play real rough. I'm not surprised, she's got nine lives. She always gets a yuck 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 throughout her long career. She's had a lot of luck, she sometimes disappears. But when all is said and done, she's still a lot of fun. She always bounces back without a scratch. Nine lives, she's got nine lives. Nine lives, this cat's got nine lives. She's much too tough, she can play real rough. I wouldn't be surprised if she's got 99 lives. You know, Casey, cats don't really have nine lives, so we have to be very careful when taking care of them, especially with little kittens like these. Oh, they're little babies. They are so beautiful. How old are they? These little kitties are about eight weeks old. There's one boy and two girls. Are they still drinking their mother's milk? Yes, they are. They drink their mother's milk for around six to eight weeks of age or until they're old enough to go to a new home. And these guys are just about old enough to go to a new home. Oh, let me hold one. I think I hear a sound. I think this little guy's purring. How does he make that sound? Well, you know, people and cats have been together for thousands of years, and nobody's really ever figured that out. But we do know that when they do purr, that usually means they're pretty happy and content. 
Dr. Kaufman, what can we do to make sure that these cats grow up to be healthy? Well, we have to give them lots of good food and keep them clean. They should go to their veterinarian at least once a year so they can be checked up and have their vaccines. And of course, we have to give them lots of love. And remember, kittens do like to play. They sure do. Well, I think these cats are perfect. In fact, I think all cats are perfect. see the big cats, the ones that roar. Okay, okay, let's roar out of here. Roar! We're here at this magical place called Shambhala. We have tigers and lions and elephants and even a pot-bellied pig. And my friend Tippy lives here too. Hi, Tippy. Hi, Casey. <gasps> Oh, I want to introduce goodness. you to Kirby, and this is Rick Glassy. Hello. Well, hi. And welcome to Shambhala. Uh, thank you. Now, what kind of an animal is Kirby? This Kirby is a Royal Bengal tiger. He has gorgeous stripes. Yes, so yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because, the, you know, you see the stripes. And uh, not only are they individual for each tiger, it's like our thumbprint. Every tiger has a different, different uh, set of stripes on his face and his body. Well, you know, I know we're standing pretty close to him, yes. but is he dangerous? Yes, of course he is. He's a wild animal. 
he could really hurt somebody. Yes, he could. They are not good pets, no. Casey. No. Uh, and you, you know, you see the stripes here. If we were to take a razor and shave him, the stripes would still be on his skin. Do tigers like to swim? Tigers probably would be very unhappy if they weren't near water. They love to be in the water, they play in the water, they sit in the water. On hot days, you'll see them up to, up to their necks oh my in, in the water. Now, uh, if you were to put all of Kirby's food for one day in one big pile, how well, big would it be? You know, out in the wild, they would probably eat a, a, a great big meal all at one time. And they could eat up to 60 to 100 pounds. That would be uh -oh. approximately 400 hamburgers. Tippy, do tigers like to live alone or do they like to live in a group? Tigers um, uh, like to live alone. They're loners is what we call them. And they live with their mothers until they are grown. And then they go off and uh, go their separate ways. But lions are a different story. Lions are the only cats who live with their families. They're called prides. The big mane on the male lion makes him look like a king. And that's why we call lions king of the beasts. The male lions are fierce and uh, protect their families from danger. But when there is no danger, they're just kind of lazy. And lions can sleep 20 hours after a good meal. The mommies don't have big manes, and that's, that's because they have to hunt for food for the whole family. And all that hair would just get in the way. And this mom probably needs a rest. And look at her stretch. Little baby lions depend on their moms for food for about two years. And during that time, they learn how to quietly sneak up on animals and pounce. And they practice on each other. And then there are those sea lions. They're so cute with their little swimming bodies oh, and no, their no, whiskers. No. And Casey, Casey, Casey. Sea lions aren't really cats. I have some mane for you. Oh. Okay. Now this is uh, now the lions have hair, and uh, tigers have fur. Lions have hair. Uh -huh. tigers, and tigers have, have fur. fur. Okay. So and now, is this special? This is only the hair from their mane. This is the mane. Uh huh. This is from the mane. It's all different colors. Yes. Like, oh my Hi. Goodness. How are you doing, hey. Remo? Yes, you good boy. Yes, you want my jacket? Well, you can't have it. No, you can't. No. Do you know that when a little baby lion is born, they only weigh about a pound and a half? Smaller Isn't than... that amazing? That's that's amazing. Yes. You know, a pound and a half. That's that's li you could almost like hold them. You can hold them in their hand this, like this. You know what? Yes. That's smaller than mm -hmm. human babies, and then they turn into these big, giant creatures that weigh. Well, the mother could weigh four hundred pounds. Is that from eating all those hamburgers that's that you told all... me about before? <laughs> yes, oh, and those okay. roasts and those steaks. <laughs> People's houses are not the place to keep no, lions. No, they are not good pets, Casey. And I think that's one of the things we have to make sure that children understand. Yeah, it's very you important know. that animals live where they're supposed to live. And that wild animals should be live, living in the wild. Now, these have been in captivity, and they can no longer be in the wild because they have been too used to people. Sometimes one lion will roar and they'll all listen and their ears will, you know, listen. And then sometimes one will roar and they'll all roar. So it's like kind of, and then it's like gossiping. They're talking it is, about it, it can be each gossip, other. yes. And if any, if two of them have an argument, within three seconds you can guarantee that they'll all start talking about it. Like, did you hear what he said to him? <laughs> oh my God. You know. Well, I want you to meet Subira. Subira is a cheetah. And this is Trudy Farley, who is, uh, oh, that wasn't very sweet. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. She's such a, she's a much smaller cat than any of the other cats. Well, she's, uh, but you could see she has very, very long legs. Now, Subira has um, uh, a particular problem. We call it uh, physically challenged. Yes. She uh, was, uh, um, she only has three legs, and that's because she was hurt when she was born. Now you can see she has um, she has a very very beautifully marked face, and sometimes she likes to uh, to wash my hand, and then 
and then I wash her face like that, which is very sweet. Now, is, is she purring? She is purring. Can you hear it? I can. Isn't it's all, it lovely? See, it's a lot louder than a kitten's purr. Yes. Now, you know, it looks like she's got these two long stripes that kind of come from the inside of her eyes uh -huh. all the way down. And we call them tears. Oh. We call them tears. And uh, Do all cheetahs have those markings? All cheetahs have those markings. And all cheetahs have these sort of polka dot stripes. Cheetahs are the fastest animals on land. Think of them as maybe fancy sport cars. They can go from zero to 65 miles an hour in just three seconds. Other cats sneak up and pounce on their dinners. Cheetahs run their dinner down. Cheetahs are a very, very different kind of cat. Their claws stay out all the time, kind of like a dog. And other cats walk on their tiptoes all the time. They don't have big jaws or big teeth. And they can't climb a tree. And they can't roar. <gasps> Tippy, what Casey. kind of a big cat is this? Oh, this is a beautiful little leopard, Casey. Oh, she and, is uh, she is, uh She's getting older. She's 19 years old. Now, the leopard loves to be up in trees. And if you would find them in Africa or Asia, there she goes. they would be most likely up in a tree, like the little, little um, uh, Mariah is doing right now. And you also, they have the capabilities of being, bringing their dinner. Like if she were to go hunting mm -hmm. and she might uh, capture an impala, she could bring that up into the tree. Their jaws are so strong that they are able to do that. Remember I was telling you about the tiger, that the tiger's markings, the stripes are on the skin? Right. So are the leopard spots on her skin. So underneath... That's why they that's say a... you can't change the spots on a leopard. Oh. This is a little African serval, and uh, she would be living in uh, sort of, um, oh, forest areas, areas that she could catch rodents. And uh, she has the capabilities of leaping six to eight feet in the air just to catch a, a bird on the wing. And she's very beautifully camouflaged. You can see she has spots and she has stripes and she has the tiger markings on her ears. She's got everything. She's got everything. She has got everything. Well, you know, Tippy, she's a really cool cat. She's a very cool cat. To sneak and peek without a sound Creeping crawl along the ground Never forget the golden rope To be cool, cool, the cat is cool Most cats prefer dry land the Tigers like to swim House cats eat tuna from a can And cheetahs run to win Cheetahs like her. Most cats have soft fur <laughs> This cat is cool It's always in control This cat's no fool It always knows its role To sneak and peek without a sound Creepy crawl along the ground Never forget the golden road to be cool, cool. The cat is cool. Shooty do. Leopards have big spots, and panthers are sleek and black. Tigers need to eat a lot, so they're quiet when they attack. Big cats love to roar. This cat is cool It's always in control Control This cat's no fool I'm no fool It always no. knows its role Cinnamon. To sneak and peek without a sound To creepy crawl along the ground Never forget 
The golden rule to be cool, cool. The cat is cool. Cheetahs wear a long black stripe right between the eyes. While lions get most of the hype because of their great big size. Wow. Sometimes cats are even cars. Mm. Mighty cougar, the sleek jaguar. Wow. This cat is cool. It's always, always in control. This cat's no fool. No, this cat's no fool. It always knows its role. To sneak and peek without a sound. Shh. The creepy crow. Along the ground Never forget The golden rule To be cool, cool This cat is cool Cool, cool The cat is cool Cool, cool The cat is cool Cool Oh, Casey, you know I know that you like the animals here And, um you know, but I really need your help on something. Sure. Tiffy, what do you need? Well, you know, uh, the animals need space to run and play and, and uh, you know, just, just like the kids do. Yeah, but, but what can kids do to help? Well, they can learn as much as they can about the animals. Do some reading and ask your parents to read to you. And you could, you could draw pictures of animals and you can yes. show them to your friends and you can talk about taking care of animals and maybe go to a museum and, and, and treat the animals that you have in your own house really well too. Yes, because the more you learn, the more you'll be able to change the world. It's up to us. That's right, Tippy. It's up to us. up to us if they'll survive it's up to us to keep hope alive what's good for us should be good for them it's up to us to help our friends we need to keep mountain range to the deepest ocean blue cross miles and miles of unspoiled plains we need to know what we must do it's up to us if they'll survive it's up to us to keep What's good for us should be good for them. It's up to us to help our friends. Across this blessed land we share with all things big and small. The earth, the sun, the stars, the air. We must protect them all. It's up to us if they'll survive. It's up to us to keep hope alive. What's good for us should be good for them. It's up to us to help our friends.
save the world for me and you. The time is now, don't hesitate. So take a stand and do what we must do. It's up to us if they'll survive. It's up to us to keep hope alive. What's good for us should be good for them. It's up to us. It's up to us if they'll survive. It's up to us to keep hope alive. What's good for us should be good for them. It's up to us to help our friends. It's up to us if they'll survive. It's up to she fell down from a tree and landed on her feet. She was stung by a bee and didn't make a peep. She's been chased by every dog and fallen off a log, but she always bounces back. Without a scratch, next nine lives. She's got nine lives. Nine lives. This cat's got nine lives. She's much too tough. She can play real rough. I'm not surprised. She's got nine lives. She's been locked outside at night and shivered in the cold. But this cat, she's still alright. She'll keep on growing old. She's fallen in the pool, but she swims. This cat's no fool. She always bounces back. Without a scratch.